I hope everybody is doing good today. Um, I wanted to start off with a feel-good story. This morning we went to church, my husband and I, and uh, we went to go get us a breakfast burrito. Every morning we do that on Sundays. It's kind of our new little thing now that our kids are grown. But uh, we stopped and got our breakfast burritos, and when we went to go pay, the people in front of us had paid it forward. So they had paid for our breakfast burrito, and that had never happened for me before. My husband said it happened a couple of times for him. But I just thought that was the sweetest thing that somebody could do for you. You know, you hear about it all the time, and honestly, I have never even, you know, when you're thinking about it, the holidays are coming up. What a great way to start the holidays. So I was very touched, and I mean, it just coming home from church and doing our ritual morning things we do and that happening just really set the day off on a really good happy start you know and so uh, we did the same for the people behind us and hopefully that just keeps on happening through the day and, and through the holidays and hopefully year round we hear good stories like that and I just love stories like that. Today I want to talk about vinegar. I use vinegar for so many things around the house. I mean, I use it to clean my walls. And I, you know, I use Ajax, whatever soap I can find on sale. If it's Dawn, if it's Ajax, Pomala, whatever, uh, whatever I find on sale, that's what I use. But I mix vinegar and dish soap. So cheap. I mean, this big bottle of vinegar may be three dollars, and it lasts so long. I use it to clean my walls. I use it to clean my crock pots. Our windows with newspaper. My husband's the window cleaner. I'm, I don't really do that too much, but he likes to do that, so I love to let him do that if that's what he wants to do. Uh, I put it in the rinse cycle in the wash, and it really softens up your towels. If you're having trouble, we have well water out here where we live in the country, but if your towels are kind of like hard, and don't have a lot of bounce and fluff to them, just add a half a cup in there in your rinse cycle and you will see what a difference that makes. Sometimes I put it in my regular laundry, whatever, you know, if the stains are, I mean, if the clothes are really, you know, gotten dirty and uh, sometimes I'll just put that in my rinse cycle. I do use bounce sheets uh, in my dryer, but now that I've been using vinegar for quite a while in my wash, it, there's just a world of difference in the softness of the towels. So uh, I use it in bowls. We have a garden. So I put apple cider vinegar with a little bit of vinegar and water in a bowl with some saran wrap over and that helps get rid of the gnats because we usually have fresh fruit and vegetables on the counter. So, um, so many things to use vinegar with. So I'm going to show you a few things today. Today, I got these walls. My walls in this room have not been painted in 14 years. And this room is my last room to get put together. And uh, I will be doing that. I, I picked up a few things this week that I want to decorate this area with. But uh, I used to kind of, this used to be our classroom. And the kids are in college. Some of my kids are still in college. And they still come in here to study and do things. But now I kind of want to make it. A room where I can do things in here too now, not just the kids and they're growing up and they're, you know, they're at the college studying or with their friends or whoever. And so I've just got this space that I want to use up, but I have not painted these walls. So it's my last room in my house that I want to get put together. But I have all these stains on the wall. And what I'm going to do today is I mix some vinegar. I mixed about half a cup of vinegar and, you know, just a couple of squirts of dish soap with some warm water and a sponge and some old towels. And I am going to scrub this and um, see if I can get it clean. But I'm going to do an up close of the wall and we can see if there's a difference. And then I'll show you some of the other things that uh, I use with the vinegar. Just going to get me my sponge out of my little bucket of water here. And I am just going to clean this area. And it's just got soap and water in it. And uh, some of these may be just really big scuff marks or whatever but I am going to clean it and scrub it for a little bit and see what happens and see if I can get most of this off of the wall. I can already see on my sponge that it is got dirt on it so that's a good sign and I will uh, scrub on this for a little bit and I'll be back. I 
can see the wall is pretty clean. This is a hole right here, so that's not that's not dirt on the wall. But it didn't take long at all. I mean, I just got the sponge, vinegar, and dish soap, and just started scrubbing. I, I when I scrub with the scrubber part, I'll be really careful. I didn't take off any paint, but uh, you're gonna see, you know, whatever your paint color is, just lightly on that sponge. Just don't scrub too hard. And then you know, use the spongy part, or if you want to use a rag, I dried it really good with the rag. And this whole area looks pretty good, so I'm gonna keep it like this for a while. I'm not gonna repaint my room. Um, I kind of like the color until I decide what color I want it to be. Uh, I just clean the walls and now they're, they're ready to go. They look so much better. So if you have little ones or grandkids or your walls just need to be cleaned or you're raining or whatever and there's just areas that just, you know, especially by the door area, just really gets dirty. Uh, just get some vinegar and some dish soap and clean it up and it'll just look so much nicer. On to cleaning this crock pot. I've had this crock pot. I don't know, five years or so, maybe longer, you know, you lose track of time as time passes. But this crock pot gets stains inside of it, and I don't know if it's because of the well water or whatever, but they get these white stains. I'll do a close-up here in a minute. And forever I thought, I just need a new crock pot. I hate it when company comes over and they're helping doing the dishes, and those stains are just white as can be. And they don't come out. You know, if I've cooked beans all day long or whatever, you know, I've cooked something in there for hours, it just seems to get a buildup. And no matter how much I scrub it, I cannot get the, the white stain out. So I'm going to do a, cl a close-up for you. And here's a close-up of those stains. No matter what I do, I could not get these white stains out of my crock pot. I've got the light shining on it really good. So I thought, oh my gosh, I'm just going to try vinegar and dish soap. Maybe that'll work. And I have my vinegar dish soap mixture here in this bowl and just a sponge. And I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning this. And of course, I would do it in my kitchen sink. But I'm just going to do it in here. And I use the scrubber part. And I just, again, half a cup of uh, dish soap. I'm only going to clean half of this. I'm just going to scrub half of it. So that we can see the difference on camera. But I have been using this every time I get some buildup on it. I uh, We have hard water out here with the well water. But you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all have different issues with water. With the way water is processed and taken care of. Treated, I guess. Treated is what I want to say. And so, uh, I'm just going to scrub this a little bit. And dry it. And then uh, I'll take another picture up close of it for you. And again, I only scrubbed half of this bowl. And you can clearly see the dark, uh, how nice and new that part of that crock pot bowl looks. And the white stain that I still have on the other side. It, and it doesn't take long at all. It cleans it right up and it just looks so nice and new again. Just another good tip to use with your crock, to clean your crock pot. Uh, I was really going to get rid of this crock pot because there was just, I just could not get those stains out. And then, you know, the light bulb came on and thought, uh, I'm just going to use my vinegar and dish soap and see if it works for that too. So I also clean the lid with it. Sometimes this seal gets built up and all, and I will give it a good scrub down and clean it. And it's got my fingerprints all over it right now. But I use my crock pot a lot. I use it a lot in the fall and the winter. It's just easier. You know, you just put everything in there, let it simmer all day long, and I can get other, thing, other things done and and dinner's ready. So, uh, another good tip to clean your crock pot, if you've got hard water stains in your house, uh, your, kitchen, your kitchen sinks, even your bathroom sinks or your showers, I mix it up. You know, there's a recipe on Pinterest that says use Dawn soap and I tried that recipe and you know you boil the water and you do all this other stuff and I thought gosh that's so much work so uh, whatever dish soap I have I just decided I'm just gonna make me a little container full of dish soap and vinegar what's it gonna hurt I mean it doesn't cost anything and it just cleaned everything so nice I mean I clean my my showers my toilets my sinks I mop my floors with it I mean, there's just so many uses, and it works. I mean, as you can see right here, I mean, those were hard water stains on my crock pot or my wall, and it just cleans right up. So uh, give it a try. You know, if you're into, I'm always trying to find ways to do things 
uh, you know, to save a little money or to use what I got around the house. And uh, for me, uh, I'm always doing little experiments to see if something will work. If I've got it, if I don't have what I'm supposed to have, I'll try something around the house. And most of the time it works. Sometimes it doesn't, but it's worth giving it a try. is how to make a little bowl of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I This little bottle of apple cider vinegar maybe cost $1.50. I use this for so many things. I always keep a bottle because I just never know when I'm going to need it. I know you think, oh, it just smells so terrible or, or whatever, but I keep it around the house. I use it for, right now we're going to use it to make a little uh, a nap trap. But I also use it for when the kids have sore throats. When I have a sore throat, I've been using it for years. We gargle with it. We gargle with it. And I know it sounds terrible, but I dilute it a little bit. And the kids, I mean, I know they're, they're you know, teenagers and in their 20s. And they will use it when they are just dying. But, you know, those other sprays just numb your throat. And within a couple of days, that, that sore throat, I mean, even instantly, like after the second time they use it, they feel so much better. Um, so there's so many different things. I can do a whole video on apple cider vinegar, what I use that for. But uh, lots of things that have really, really worked for us. You know, um, my kids call me the hippie doctor because I use a lot of natural things around the house. And I don't know if I'm a hippie doctor, but uh, they make a lot of fun about it. And that's okay. But uh, they'll use my little remedies because it works. And uh, they trust mom, of course, too. So uh, apple cider vinegar, and I've got a little cup of water. I don't even know if you need water in the recipe. I think maybe I put water in the recipe because it was uh, it was so strong to me, and I thought, oh, I've, I, you know that smell. I can smell it. You know now maybe I'm immune to it. But uh, anyways, uh, I add a little bit of water, and I think just to dilute it. But all I do is I put a little apple cider vinegar in this bowl. I mean, a, a vinegar. I'm doing just vinegar. And I put a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And you know, I'm not much about measuring. My grandmothers never measured anything, and I guess I got that from them. But you know, it may be about two tablespoons of that on there. And uh, and I put a little bit of water in there, just to dilute it. I don't, I don't know. I just do. And I put just soap in there. And I don't even know if you're supposed to put dish soap in it. Maybe you are. Uh, I found it off the internet or Pinterest. I don't remember what I did, but you know, I, I'm always tweaking things to, well, that didn't catch that many gnats, but uh, I'll add a little more of this, a little more of that, or add this in it, and I mean, it really, really, really cap captures the gnats, and I've just got some saran wrap, and tear it. Let's see, let me move that so you can see what I'm doing here. And then I just cover the top of this. So the, the, the smells are not like so strong, but I cover it pretty tight across the top. And uh, I just put it on my kitchen counter. You know, we have bananas. My husband loves bananas. I've always got fruit on the counter. Seems like if I've found fine pineapples on sale or cantaloupe, I let them ripe for a couple of days on the counter. And before I know it, I've got some gnats. But, you know, I just, every time I buy fruit and it's kind of hard, I let it sit for a couple of days. It, it just gets so much sweeter to let it sit on the counter. And then, of course, I cut it all up. But what I, uh, then I cut it all up after a couple of days, but some, you know, I get gnats. So, uh, I just snip the top of this and I make little holes. I don't like snip just a hole, but I actually make a hole. I just felt like that worked better. You know, the recipe page says to just make little holes. But I literally snip a piece of that off of there. And I make maybe six or seven of them around here. And I let you know I can already smell it a little bit a little bit. You may you know you may not want the smell, but if you've got fresh fruits or vegetables on the counter, or you know you got a vegetable bin in your kitchen or wherever, I set one of these up and I'm not kidding you, it will be covered in gnats in there. And we, we have noticed such a big difference, you know. I always say, oh, people are going to think my house is dirty. You know, I've got these gnats, and I'm always saying, you know, we have the garden, and, 
you, they know we garden. We don't garden big. We do box gardens. But um, we've always got uh, fresh vegetables and fruits on the counter. So I have used this, and I've used this for, oh, I don't even know, maybe maybe two years I've been using this. And uh, it's just vinegar, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of dish soap, and uh, I put a little water in to dilute it so it's not so strong. And uh, it it really works. So give that a try if you got trouble with, with gnats. So those are just a few things I wanted to share with you today. And uh, I'm really having fun making these videos for y'all. Uh, if you have any suggestions of other ideas or you're having problems around the house with something, maybe I've already tried something and it works for me and I can make a video about it. But uh, I just wanted to share some of my favorite, favorite tips that I use with vinegar and dish soap. I mean, together this probably costs, what, $3, $4? And um, last, I mean, you can use it for so many different things. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like my video, thumbs up it, please. And uh, if you wanna keep in touch with me and see what else I have to offer you, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you follow me and, and uh, see what else I've got up my sleeve. I do all kinds of crazy things. I mean, some things my kids just laugh at me about, and, and that's okay. It's funny. I mean, it's fun and funny, but it works, and so if it works, I'm all about it. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.